PostgreSQL is at a tipping point. A tipping point is the culmination of a buildup of small changes that affects a big change. And again, I think we're going to share some information with you today that points to the tipping point, PostgreSQL being at a tipping point, and it reminds me quite a bit of where Red Hat Enterprise Linux was between the 2002 and 2003 time frame. And see if it doesn't remind you of some of the same market conditions that we saw back in 2002 with Linux. Some proof points of the tipping point. Um, Postgres is certainly in the news. There are large companies using Postgres. The press is covering the shift in the market momentum in ways that we have not seen. And Enterprise DB was one of three companies tagged to be the next billion dollar open source company. Proof point for the tipping, being at a tipping point is cost. This is an info week survey where they surveyed 700 plus respondents two times, once in August of 2010 and again in November 2011, and they basically asked, how do you feel about the costs of your database? Some other reasons why we're at the tipping point. There have been big technology advances in Postgres. Here's a list of some examples. So greater scalability, I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. Um, advanced replication capabilities, PostgreSQL, a quick overview, you know, it's considered the most mature open source relational database available today, with enterprise class features. If you look to the right hand side of this slide, this, this is, these are examples of uh, truly mission critical ready features that PostgreSQL brings to PostgreSQL users to enable them to, with confidence, deploy mission critical applications. I think the other important point, and all of you know the importance of a community, the strength of a community, PostgreSQL has been around 26 years, but the community, a large community of developers and community of users, has been around for 16 plus years. So if you have that strong community of developers and community of users with enterprise class contributors, you're able to get a rate of innovation around the database at low, low costs, in large part because of the strength of the community. Here's a uh, TCO study that was commissioned by Hewlett Packard. I think it speaks volumes for the type of cost savings that you can experience moving from Oracle to Enterprise DB's Postgres Plus Advanced Server. So what to do now? If you go to enterprisedb.com, you can download Advanced Server, uh, XDB Replication Server with multi-master replication capabilities, Postgres Enterprise Manager. My hope is that you'll find the site um, a place where you can learn more about the options um, that you have to help you lower your Oracle spend.